Hello, I've got um, a package, a package to show and a couple of pickups. Um, it's not a lot, so what I'll do, I want you know, I want to open the package. So uh, when I've got more, I'll just tack a bit on the end, showing those, whatever it may be. Uh, yeah, as I said, I've got the package, and so I want to do it now. So I'll show the the, the few bits, the few pickups I've got with it. So yeah, um, eBay purchase. eBay purchase. Um, a bargain cost me four pounds three plus uh, two pound postage. So six pound three yeah, it works out about. Not a bad bargain actually. It's all uh, as I said before an eBay bargain, but you know I wouldn't guarantee finding this game anywhere else. Uh, it looked pretty good in the picture. I'll uh, crack it open. Didn't take too long. I've got um, my. My um, post, uh, postman um, doesn't bother uh, knocking when, whenever I get some uh, recorded delivery postage. He just uh, rips a little strip off and whacks it through the, the letterbox. This <laughs> is exactly the same thing happens with this, which, which in a way is a, is a good thing because um, I wouldn't want to have to go and hunt down whatever my, hunt down my package, but. Um, at the same time, he's taking a bit of a risk because I might not be the person on the on the address. I don't know. Yeah, oh, that will need changing. I I should have seen that from the uh, should have seen that from the picture. I did remember him seeing the picture. Really. R type R type Delta. Feels like it's rattling around here. That's all right. That's not too bad. But uh, just got a little, uh, little bit of something or something on there. Oh, I'll type Delta. Yeah. Um, manual looks a bit wrinkly. That's okay. Like I said, like I said I've got a bargain. Uh, I'll just have to find a case to swap it out with. And um, oh, let's get rid of that. Nothing else in there. No. Um, yeah, these few pickups. Um, a couple of days ago, I was in a branch of game station, and I got got a copy of Driver Two for for one ninety nine, and they had um, like an idiot. They had a copy of Skull Monkeys for four ninety nine. It's a game in the I've looked at in the past, and sort of four ninety nine, and um, passed on it, and come home and checked it out on eBay and discovered that um, it's it's a rarity and it goes for sort of like 15 sometimes 25 quid you know sometimes as low as about 10 ish but average 15 to 18 and I was really sort of really pissed off when I saw it the first time because it's a rarity and uh, <laughs> I saw it again but in the intervening time, I'd forgotten. Um, I'd forgotten that uh, I'd, I'd looked it up this the first time, and passed on it again because it was four ninety nine. And I won't be making that mistake for the three third time. So if you ever see skull monkeys anywhere for about five or less, don't do what I do and pass it up. Buy it because it's it's uh, you know it's got driver. It's all there. So they're nice. It's, you know, I've had a quick go of the WD40, nice and shiny. I'll, I'll be doing that with our type later. Uh, the same day, this is actually before uh, Driver Two. I uh, got a lucky, found this. This is an absolute brilliant find. Dot hack. This was in a. This was in a four for ten in a game, but there was like as per usual. There was nothing. I I could have got really lucky. And got all four in one go, because because the the storylines are so tightly interwoven that that you really need to play them in order. You can't chop and change. You have to go from one to four, and um, you can buy all four on eBay for about sixty quid. So now I've got this. It means I have to go and buy at least the first two. But I'm not too pissed off because that's a bargain. And I think having checked it out, I think this one is the most difficult to find out of all of them. And that was, how was that, how much does that work out at? That works out at, I think it's 4 99 actually. 
which sounds sounds quite a bit, but the, for for dot the dot hack series, that's a bargain. And today I am traded in a copy of Hyper Street Fighter on the PlayStation and that copy of Budokai uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi Three that I showed you for a few days a few weeks ago, and that got me about seven just under eight pounds credit at computer exchange and I got to this got wizardry really nice copy really nice, really nice copy of wizardry and uh, it's uh, sort of like a, a Japanese made European style RPG really and it's it's particularly interesting because of that that sort of um, you know Japanese trying out the European style first saw it on uh, TG Apollaeus's uh, uh, channel and thought that looks pretty interesting and and it's by it's published by Atlas. It's published since it's published by Ubisoft. Did Atlas actually developed their own games. I'm not sure they do. Maybe maybe it's uh, Atlas developed. But um, anyway, Atlas, I've got something to do along the line. There you go. Um, I'll tack a little bit on the end when I've brought some more stuff. So see you in a couple of seconds. Adios, muchachos. Yeah, hello again. Uh, I've got something to uh, tack on the end. It's not a lot, only one thing. But um, there's a, a few other things that happened today that I just want to, I just want to tell you about, which I don't know. Uh, quite interesting. Worth. Oh, I need to tell people. I need to just put yeah, put it that way. I need need to tell people. Um, yeah, this is what I got. Uh, Four ninety nine. It's the original. Uh, it's not a focus. Focus, you bitch. Oh. <laughs> uh, my camera's got a mind of its own. No, so that is, if you couldn't see it, you probably couldn't see it. Um, it's the original Fire Emblem on the GBA. Um, yeah, I got the Fire Emblem 2 Sacred Stones a few weeks ago, last week sometime. And it's from the same place again, four ninety nine, same price, and um, that's not quite as good value as that one, but still, um, still a, a bit of a bargain. And if I ever wanted to get rid of them, I'd sell them probably as a as a pair on eBay, and could get could get a decent amount, I reckon. But um, yeah, that. But that's the only that's the only extra pickup I've got. But um, it's just uh, yeah, I was out today. While I was looking at the um, in the shop, I had my headphones in, so um, I was you know I couldn't really hear what was going on you know around me. But I was aware of a woman came in, and she was obviously um, after something specific, and she didn't know what she also didn't know what she was looking for, and it was um, obviously something quite a uh, something quite expensive. Because so I noticed this other guy came behind me, and I know they they were talking because she uh, she had been talking to the guy behind the counter, and this this other bloke came in, and he started he sort of joined in their conversation and realised he was um, he was trying to educate us the value of what she was asking for, and, and he was I heard him say, yeah, uh, if if you know if the price goes up to that high, it's, um, leave it because it's not worth it, and he was he was actually. Um, he was actually telling her how much things were worth, and I thought that's quite refreshing, because you don't <laughs> quite refreshing and quite brave at the same time, because you don't get that so much, and uh, and he was doing it right in front of the guy behind the counter. So um, in other words, he could have easily have been uh, losing this guy's sale, but at the same time, I wish I was sort of uh, brave enough to to do that and uh, to point people in the right direction, because you know if if I know that they're um, what they're after is uh, you know. Um, they can get it better for a better price somewhere else, but um, no. And then uh, she left empty-handed. So, <laughs> and then he, uh, and the same guy decided to uh, uh, question the bloke behind the counter why he was charging fifty quid for the um, Modern Warfare Two um, hardened edition. And he was going, well, "What's it? You know, why is it worth that much?" Which I thought it was funny. Yeah. But um, and another thing. Uh, this this is a bit of a bit of a bummer. This one I went into in the same same town. Um, went into Oxfam, and um, I thought I'd hit the jackpot. 
from, I was just going over to the, where they normally keep their video games and I thought I'd hit the jackpot because I saw some PlayStation 1 games and then I saw, in a row, I saw Final Fantasy 9, uh, Grandia and Fire, Breath of Fire, um, Breath of Fire 3. Uh, oh, wow, I've hit the jackpot. I'm, I'm in a charity shop and they've got these three games. And I picked up, um, picked up uh, Final Fantasy 9 first. And they were charging nine ninety nine for it, and that really sort of pissed on my chips. That <laughs> nine ninety nine. I checked Breath of Fire three. Now they're charging nine ninety nine for that, and then Grandia. And they were charging the same price. And uh, and nine ninety nine for Grandia and Breath of Fire three is not not worth it. Maybe for for Final Fantasy nine. But I checked the discs. And they all had these smeary, gle gle greasy blobs on them. And I couldn't guarantee they're working. They look pretty clean and scratch free, but I couldn't guarantee they were going to work. And I didn't want to have to get them all, pay £2 to get each disc cleaned. And then some of the teeth are missing off the little jewel cases, the, the disc holders. So, what a bummer. I thought I'd hit the jackpot. Three, you know, that would have been a. If they were cheap, I, just, I would have been away. It's just gutting. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a downer to end on. I'll I'll be back and back and raring to go next time. Yeah, that's uh, that's my pickup. Uh, this that'll probably be um, that'll be it for a while for me until I can um, get all my stuff sorted on eBay. I'm t I think I'm taking advantage of the new uh, the new time limit we've got now, 15 minutes apparently. So all of you who um, are making videos and don't don't know that the time limit's 15 minutes now, then uh, we happy days. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sh I'm sorry that this little extra bit was a bit was a bit lengthy. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching, and see you all later. Bye.